And in Lagos, mixed reactions have trailed that presidential order. While many believe it's a step in stopping the spread of the virus, others are concerned about those who get daily pay from their businesses. Theophila Salama reports. The COVID-19 pandemic has caused a stir around several economies. Major economies are shutting down as a result. With Lagos having the most number of COVID-19 cases in Nigeria, the state government instituted a partial lockdown. Now, President Muhammad Buhari has instituted a total lockdown for two weeks, starting March 30th. Actually, they say prevention is better than cure. What, president, what Mr. President did, he did a right thing. But what, what I expect from Mr. President is, first thing first, palliative measures should be put in place because um, Lagosians has more than 20 something million people in Lagos. And most of these people, like 75% of these people, are what we call they are in informal sector. We have fed the business so hard, but it's for our own good. Okay. For our own good. So, because disease is so, so spreading everywhere. Where you go to Italy, that's what happened in Italy today. Mm -hmm. That's what happened in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. So, that we are that for two weeks closed, and no problem. And this lockdown is what I'm expecting from the government to do before, not now. Okay. You understand? I know it will affect us in one way or the other, but at the same time, the government is trying to protect us. More especially for this COVID-19. While there is concern for those who earn daily pay, this butcher believes that the directive is necessary. He says despite